from when looking at the cow, we're in Wisconsin, and on our, and we are about to head to Chicago, and then Virginia and South Carolina to Washington D.C. and back. Bye. We're at the Wright Brothers Aviation Center, and I just got a Junior Ranger badge. What you do to get a Junior Ranger badge is you fill out this book, and you get a Junior Ranger badge from the Park Ranger. The, look how good it is. We're going to get a lot of these on the trip. So there, all right, so there's your Ranger Johnson National Historic Site and your Ranger badge. Hey, we're at the car, we're at Carl Sandburg's place, and, <laughs> we, and we are here with a talkative goat here, a very talkative goat. We're in Cal Penn's, a Revolutionary War battlefield. On this field, on January 17, 1781, Daniel Morgan led his army of tough Continentals and his backwards militia to a, brill a bright victory over the British. I just got a Junior Ranger badge in Kings Mountain, a Revolutionary War battlefield. I got my fourth Junior Ranger badge of the day. I feel so tired. I feel like I gotta go to a hotel and rest. After a long day of getting Junior Ranger badges, it's like getting time for a swim. Savannah, Georgia, at Fort Pulaski. This is where the Union troops took over the fort in 1862 and remained that way for the rest of the war. We're at Leopold Ice Cream in Savannah, Georgia. It was one of the top 10 ice cream parlors in the world. This is delicious. Okay. Is a junior ranger. I promise. I promise to help. To help preserve. Preserve and protect. And protect America's. America's special places. Special places. Congratulations, Joey. You're our newest. We're at the middle. We're at the middle ten plantation, and I'm gonna go milk a cow. <laughs> Try another one. I never this close to a goat before and scared. He looks like he's gonna charge at me, but I don't know. We're at the Sandell, it's a military school, and my dad says if I'm bad I have to go here. We're in Roanoke Island in in North Carolina in in, in 1587. Sir Walter Raleigh sent 117 colonists here from England, and when they were running out of food, the mayor, John White, went to England, and when he came back, they were all gone, except for one thing. A, a mark on a tree that said, C-R-O, crow. And what happened to them? Dun, dun, dun. I'm in the Outbanks of North Carolina. I'm going to go for a swim. We're at the spot where the Wright Brothers flew for the first time. I, I hope my plane can do the same thing. One last test flight before we leave. Whoa. Oh my. That's a where are you? I am at the Wright Brothers Memorial. And you're doing what? And I'm trying to steer this plane. All right. On December 17th, 1903, the Wright Brothers launched their first plane, and it went from all the way from that big rock to the number one sign. And then the second to that second one, one, the third, and the fourth was all the way over there. We're at Yorktown. Where 17,000 American and French troops defeated the British and Cornwallis in the Revolutionary War. We're in Virginia.
Virginia, and did you know bamboo could grow in the south? Look right here. Gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I am Sergeant Callaway of the 3rd Infantry Regiment, United States Army. Guard of Honor to the Unknown Soldier. The ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard. In keeping with the dignity of this ceremony, it is requested that everyone remain silent and stand. Thank you. We're in the Arlington National Cemetery in Washington, D.C. Um, this is the biggest military cemetery in the world. Over there is John Kennedy's grave. And over there is the rest of Washington, D.C.